Hello everyone. Um, this is Darkworld Two Eight Zero here, and uh, I got a lot of um, views on how to fix your internet uh, if that setting was changed and you were no longer able to connect. But this video is going to focus on what happens if you can get on the internet. It's just incredibly slow, and you know that you uh, have a decent um, internet uh, connection. Um, you, you know, you've tried resetting your router and such, but it's just, uh, it's not working. You don't understand why your computer, uh, your computer's internet is just running so slow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, uh, what you can do. And this will also free up space on your computer. Um, and it can also help other problems, but, uh, they're too specific to pinpoint, um, exact problems. So uh, this program is called C Cleaner, and I'm sure many people have seen it around YouTube. Uh, people telling them how to use it, but they don't really get give like an in in depth way to install it, and then way to actually use the application, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Google here, and just search in Google um, C Cleaner. And you'll get their uh, main website. Go ahead and click that. Once you're here, just go up and click download. Um, and then you're going to want to do the uh, free version. You can donate if you want to. But there's not any benefit for donating except you get updates faster, which they update um, CCleaner a lot. Um, but there's not a huge difference between these. So the free version is just fine. So I'm going to download it from their site. And here we go. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, I believe it is done. It is a very tiny program. Um, okay, so here it is. Once you have it downloaded, just, just uh, go to it and double click it like any um, normal application. And go ahead and run it. Um go through the application like normal when you get here um, obviously the shortcuts if you want them there uh, I don't want it on my desktop but for the video sake I will um, check that these two options uh, if you right click your recycle recycle bin um, they'll be there so you can right click and just hit run C cleaner and it will um, clean all your stuff out or to open it and automatic check for updates is whenever you open CCleaner it will check uh, for updates um, and then if you click the advanced uh, you can tell it to choose or install for this um, profile on your computer or for everyone I'm just gonna leave it on everyone because I'm the only one who uses this computer um, and then obviously your destination is uh, wherever you want to go I'm just gonna leave it on C because as you can see it doesn't take up much space at all so once it's done go ahead and run it um, you can either do that option or not I'm gonna open it from the icon the first time you open the program you'll get this um, now if you have a hard time remembering your uh, gmail passwords your yahoo passwords all that information go ahead and click yes if you don't and remember all your account information hit no um, the reason why it's asking you is because it's going to clean out all the um, cookies and all the files that Internet Explorer has created or Mozilla or Chrome and all the temporary files that programs have created that they don't they don't need to function but they have been there um, so you know th this is up to you what you want to do I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes just for the sake of I don't want to have to relog in everything and then you the program will open um, you see uh, four different tabs let's just focus on the cleaner tab I keep everything uh, the same as it is I don't mess with anything else as you can see it's gonna wipe the temporary files for uh, quite a few programs um, but I just leave it all the same I don't uh, find the need to um, click anything else um, when you go to run the scan or I would scan and then I usually run cleaner when you go to um, run the scan uh, you'll get 
you get this if a browser is open um, and if you get this that means that it will not look in Mozilla's temporary files because it is open and I actually have on my second monitor I actually do have Mozilla open so um, as you can see here so if I close Mozilla I'm just gonna hit OK and it will finish the scan if I close Mozilla and rescan then it will pick up uh, Mozilla's files temporary files right there um, and it will do the same thing for Internet Explorer, Chrome um, and I'm not sure if it will do for applications too but just be aware that that is what that's saying. Um, so it has told me that I have 1.2 gig of temporary files uh, to be removed. So once you have this information, all you need to do is come over here and click uh, Run Cleaner. Now I'm going to open up Mozilla again because I don't want it to wipe anything off Mozilla's um, browser. Let's go ahead and reanalyze. And you can uh, choose for it to not show it again and I'm gonna go ahead and run cleaner Now I do notice I just noticed that I do have Internet Explorer up and it didn't uh, say that so maybe it doesn't say it for all browsers but I'm gonna close out of those analyze one more time and go ahead and run cleaner now when you go to run cleaner it'll pop and say this process will permanently delete files on your system are you sure you want to proceed just go ahead and hit OK it won't um, mess up anything it's just getting rid of the temporary files that's, that's all it's doing things like um, um, your latest like in for example Microsoft Word your latest documents I don't know um, if any of you use that but when you open up Word it will tell you your most recent documents uh, it will like wipe those things out not the document itself but the temporary file that was created to tell Microsoft Word where the temporary file is or where the word document is and all of that so it won't delete anything that will hurt your system or important files that you need and it won't touch your bookmarks for your internet um, browser and if you are worried it might delete something that you need um, you can always send me a message uh, via Twitter or on my Facebook page uh, or comment and I will respond and tell you if it is okay or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. Just gonna go ahead and quickly uh, wipe everything out and so there you go. Now if I hit analyze again um, it will say that I have zero bytes and this can significantly um, improve your internet speed. Now uh, I forgot to mention this some people when they go to scan it will not go nearly as fast as mine did. Some people will take some people's scans will take thirty minutes to an hour. Mine is just so fast because I have a very fast computer and my drives are extremely fast. Um, but for the normal person that scan could take up to thirty minutes to an hour depending on how much um, crap you have. So don't think it's just gonna zoom by like uh, mine did. Um, so now that we're done with the clearing tab, you're probably curious about the last three tabs. Now these tabs aren't nearly as important as the cleaner tab. The registry tab, what it does is it scans for registry issues in your computer. Now um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I would not, I would not touch the registry um, tab. I rarely ever use it uh, because it causes more problems than it usually fixes. Um, uh, I only use it if I'm dealing with a really damaged system um, but I would highly suggest not using the registry um, part of CCleaner unless you know you know what it is uh, you're doing um, not to be mean or anything but that's how I feel about the registry tab the tools tab um, you can uninstall programs like uh, um, the default Windows uh, uninstaller you can change your startup, what you want to start up. You can do a system restore uh, if you have any uh, restore points that you want to restore to. And then there's the drive wiper. What the drive wiper does is uh, when you actually delete something off your computer, it's not actually deleted. It's still there. Um, your drive, uh, it's, it's almost like your drive has said um, you can just um, write over this file. So... 
um, over time by getting files in your computer it will eventually write over the file that you deleted but it is still there and this will uh, erase all of that free space so it can't be recovered um, and you can have different uh, uh, passes and it does take a very long time uh, to do and you can also do if you can do the entire drive uh, if you want to um, I've used this once or twice and it works well um, but I don't use it a lot um, and don't do this if you don't want to lose any of your data uh, if you do the entire drive uh, all your data will be erased um, because it is formatting your drive and options is just uh, settings about CCleaner which I usually I usually never um, am in here so uh, I usually stick to the cleaner tab and that's just about it so hopefully this has helped you guys and uh, you know hopefully your internet gets faster if you have any questions again uh, just uh, send me a thing on Twitter at uh, darkworld280 or send me a message or comment on this video um, and also please subscribe uh, to my Twitter because I am going to be uh, tweeting um, programs and things that I find um, sooner than I will actually produce, produce videos of that actual application so but that's it for CCleaner um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this so thank you for watching